In today's video, I'm gonna give you five tips on how do you become more efficient with Data Loader. So let's start with tip number one, use bulk or not, all right? If you have many records, uh, I'd say more than 10,000, I think it makes sense to use bulk operations for Data Loader. Here in Data Loader, go to settings and then scroll down and choose use bulk API. If you use bulk API, there will be, I, I believe, up to five bulk operations at the same time. Also, you can choose if you wanna enable serial mode or not. Serial means after one bulk API is done, then it starts another one and it goes on and on. If you unchoose that, they will run in parallel. And then you hit OK, and then it's saved. Now, tip number two. Did you know you can use multiple data loaders at the same time? I have here in my screen three data loaders, and they all work independently and simultaneously. So if you have many, many files to upload, at the same time, you probably want to try using more than one data loader at the same time. Each can be configured independently. So if you want to use um, bulk in one and then regular in the other, that's probably fine. Okay. Now tip number three is you probably want to uh, change the batch size of your operation. So if we check the one, uh, the bulk API, we can set it up up to 2000 per batch. If you know that you are updating, as an example, opportunities, they are a little bit more complicated. They involve more flows. They are heavier in the system. So you probably want to reduce that number to something close to 50, 20, even 10 or one. It really depends how heavy it is in your Salesforce instance. For most of the cases, you're pretty good with maximum batch size. So for bulk, it's 2000, and for regular API, it's 200. Now, for tip number four, how to adjust the location, how to adjust your time zone, it's pretty important when you're uploading daytime stamps because if you don't set it up correctly, it can, it actually uses, Data Loader uses the time zone that's set up in the settings. So it updates records using the time zone that's set up here in Data Loader. You wanna probably match the time zone with the one you have in Salesforce. Just copy and paste in here and you should be good to go. And finally, for tip number five, sometimes we have to update fields with new values. That's not standard in Data Loader. You, have, you actually have to go in there and uh, ask Data Loader to uh, input, insert new values. How do you do that? S uh, exactly same as the other tips, you go to settings and you check the insert new values checkbox. Notice this is only checkable if you're not using bulk API. So if I go to this data loader, you see that with bulk API insert no values is not an option. So please pay attention uh, to that. If you need to update no values, you need to use regular API. If you enjoyed the five tips, please give it a like and subscribe for more Salesforce technical content here at Linsky. Thank you.